when you meditate and train the mind. In fact, that's what the Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means. You develop good qualities in mind, train the mind in the right direction. It's because the mind needs training. It's got all kinds of impulses going on in all kinds of different directions. You would focus them in a direction that's useful, in a direction that puts an end to suffering rather than creating more suffering. It's part of a larger path of practice. There's virtue, there's generosity, and there's meditation. They all develop a quality that's called merit, bunya in Pali. It's a concept we don't think about too much in Western Buddhism, but it's a huge concept in the tradition. Because merit is the quality of inner worth that you develop by finding happiness in the right way, finding happiness in a way that doesn't harm yourself, doesn't harm other people. It's a happiness that spreads around. In other words, when you're generous, you benefit, the people around you benefit. When you're virtuous, you benefit and the people around you benefit. When you meditate and you try to bring the mind under control, you benefit and the people around you are less victimized by your greed, aversion, and delusion. It's like lighting a candle. When you light a candle, you're not the only one who gains the brightness. People around you gain some brightness. If you help light other people's candles, it gets, gets even brighter. So as you practice, it's not just that you are looking after yourself. As the Buddha says, when you see the goodness that comes from this and you can see other people who are amenable to listening to you, share your understanding of what's good about generosity, what's good about virtue, and why meditation is a good thing. Even though you may not be in a position where you can explain all these things to other people, at least you talk about how good it is. We need more of that in the world. There's so much advertising out there that says happiness comes from buying this, buying that. And one of the big messages of our culture is that to get happy, to gain, you need to have status. And to gain status, you need to step all over other people. In other words, their happiness is the kind of happiness that creates divisions, that creates problems, and creates a little bit of happiness for the person who finds it. And then that happiness is gone. In the meantime, they've done a lot of damage. So you have to see that happiness is the kind of thing that can't be placed in boundaries like this. It has to be something that spreads its benefits around if it's going to be genuine happiness. And so when you think about the word merit, it sounds too much like brownie points, but that's not what the Buddha was talking about. It's a quality of inner worth, inner well-being, the happiness that comes from doing things well, doing things in a skillful way, the happiness that comes when you know that you've improved other people's happiness as well. As the Buddha said, when you're mindful, it's helpful to other people. When you help other people, when you're generous with them, it's good for you, too. And this way we're looking for a happiness that doesn't have any boundaries. And that's the kind of happiness that's really worth pursuing. All too often they talk about the pursuit of pleasure as being hedonistic and and very shallow. But the Buddha says, okay, you, ha you, pr you pursue pleasure, you pursue happiness, but you learn to do it in a wise way, and it can go very deep. 